happy spring festival, Chinese New Year, Lunar New Year, whatever you want to call it, it has arrived. Every year comes a new animal with the new year and this year it is year of the rabbit. So what does the year of the rabbit have in store for you and your badminton playing? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, Badminton Becky, an American living and playing badminton in China. So what does the rabbit have in store for you? Just like the Western horoscope, the Chinese zodiac all has different meanings and every year kind of has a different energy. The animal that was the year that you were born is what your horoscope is. And this year, everyone born this year will be born a rabbit. For badminton players, the rabbit is good energy. The rabbit is the fastest of all the zodiac animals and the rabbit is hippity hoppity and full of energy. We could use that energy for this year. So this year we should feel more energetic, feel more hippity hoppity, bippity boppity. <laughs> Depending on the year you were born, everyone has a different horoscope. So I found some horoscopes online. Of course, I'm not a horoscope feng shui master, but I found some online and I changed them a little to be suitable for badminton. So I'm gonna tell you your badminton horoscope for the upcoming year. And if you don't know what animal you are, don't worry, I'm gonna put the years of each animal. So look for the year you were born. And if you see the year you were born, that is your animal. So let's get started. Okay, I had to switch to Aja's phone so I could read the horoscopes off my phone. So if you were born, year of the rat. The year of the rabbit is a thorny one for those born under the sign of the rat. This is a year where you need to focus on hard work and dedicated effort in your badminton playing. You might think about getting a coach or having a regular training plan. Nor the people that say you don't have the courage or that you're not playing well behind your back. If you're able to stick with your training and keep your eye on the prize, nothing can stop you from being an excellent player and maybe winning a competition if you enter. Just make sure you don't compromise on your physical and mental health in pursuit of your badminton dreams. Ox, if you're born near the ox, your fortune is on the rise in badminton. Many who play singles might find themselves to be quite lucky this year. Those who play doubles might want to find a permanent partner. This year could prove to be particularly blessed in badminton. Be certain not to ignore your health, warm up, cool down, and be vigilant about mental and physical checkups. Tiger, those of you born year of the tiger, the year of the rabbit will prove to be a balanced year for those of you who were born a tiger. It is important that tigers put their egos aside and learn from their failures in badminton and examine their shortcomings. That means you should film yourself. You should watch yourself play badminton and be brutally honest when you watch it back. Be sure to express gratitude to all those who helped you along your way, including your partners and your coach and your, your club leader. And it would be wise to be conservative with your spending and investments. So maybe don't buy a bunch of new rackets or a bunch of new equipment this year. Next up is Year of the Rabbit. Now you might think it's your year, it's your lucky year, but actually it's the opposite. It's a bad luck year when it's the same year of that you were born because the energy is too much because you already have the rabbit energy in you from being born a rabbit, and then the, the universe having the rabbit energy is too much. So what you do is you're supposed to wear red every day. When it was my horoscope year, um, my year is actually next year, so I've only been in China once with my year, I wore a little red bracelet. A friend gave me a red bracelet with a red string. You can wear red underwear, you can wear red socks, but you should wear red every day or as much as you can to counteract the bad luck. Like life, like the moon's numerous phases, life itself can take you on twists and turns that might be equal parts surprising as well as bewildering. So it sounds like you might have an inconsistent year with some really great playing and some big wins and then maybe some big losses as well. The thing is to remember, that it is your year. Keep fighting, don't surrender. Keep it up and work hard to counteract the energy, the too much energy of this year. Dragon, this is my Chinese zodiac animal. In the realm of badminton, the year of the rabbit may prove to be rather beneficial to those born as a dragon. People in positions of great influence, like a coach or a top player, may propel you to greater heights for a new partner or someone that can help you. Any of you might earn special bonuses or cash rewards. I think that means we will win competitions and prizes. However, in matters of badminton, this year might test you quite a bit. Those who play singles, it's best to stay focused on your gameplay. 
those who play doubles, don't let your anger get the better of you. Always be kind to your partner. Next up is Snake. The year of the rabbit may prove to be rather smooth one for those born under the sign of the snake. Many of you may receive recognition from coaches, top players, and people in high positions. Badminton growth is in the cards for you, but it will only come after having to prove yourself again and again, so don't give up. If you play singles, you might be switching to doubles. And if you play doubles, be careful not to create conflict for the sake of drama. It's very good advice for doubles partners. <laughs> okay, for those of you horse, the year of the rabbit might prove to be quite tricky for those born under the sign of the horse. Careful before taking bold risks. You should play a more conservative game, especially in the realm of badminton. Avoid rushing because that might cause you to make silly mistakes and all your hard work to unravel. However, in the realm of badminton, it may prove to be pleasant and surprisingly prosperous year. Next up is the sheep. The year of the rabbit is one where those born under the sign of the sheep must take the practical path. They want to find a sense of balance and harmony in their badminton playing. The more you get swayed by your emotions, the worse you're gonna play. A balanced body, take care of your body, leads to a balanced badminton game. Thus, be sure to eat a balanced diet and practice the art of moderation. Also do meditation. I'm just not having the best year of the rabbit. He broke two strings on two rackets in one day. All right, next up is monkey. The year of the rabbit may prove to be quite a mercurial one for those who are born under a monkey. Best to persevere in badminton regardless of how boring it is or how if you don't see advancement in your badminton. Any stagnation you have in badminton will only be temporary before things get much more exciting. Body the virtue of patience and expect a slow but steady ride. Be sure to follow a healthy routine and get lots of sleep. Next up is rooster. The year of the rabbit is going to be a challenging one for roosters. This is a year where you cannot escape hard work to improve your badminton, nor can you take shortcut to reach your badminton goals. Take the easy way out just might complicate matters more and lead you into more problems, bad partners, sneaky coaches, cheating at a competition. So don't do any of that. Just focus on hard work, play a good, honest game, and um, avoid spending frivolously. So don't buy a lot of equipment this year and focus more on saving your energy for the game. Next up is the dog. The year of the rabbit may prove to be pleasantly stable for those born under the year of the dog. There may be a few unexpected twists and turns in badminton. Rest assured that everything will work out for the best in the end. For those who play singles, you will find an excellent opponent. And those who play doubles might want to take it to the next level. You should find a serious partner to train with because maybe you will be successful. And last but not least, the pig. The year of the rabbit is a rather delightful one for those born under the sign of the pig. Harmonious badminton relationships with your partners and opponents may help facilitate your own rise in the badminton world. Badminton partners will be harmonious and many of you might experience an exciting surge of passion in badminton. So pigs, it sounds like you have a really exciting year of badminton ahead of you. So those are the 12 horoscopes, depending on the year you were born and your badminton horoscope. Of course, this is all just for fun. I don't really believe much of these things myself. It is still fun to think about, you know, they're all good things, and I do wish you family and friends and all your badminton friends and your badminton club, and if you're doing all competitions, you know, I wish you the best of luck. Year of the Rabbit, 2023, and I will see you guys next time on the court. Okay, bye.